Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will speak about the skewness or lottery trading strategies. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Vojtko and I'm CEO of Quantpedia. In uh, all of my videos, I talk a lot about uh, price-based predict uh, predictors like momentum or some trend-following uh, strategies that use moving averages, etc. etc. Uh, but for today, I have a, a different predictor for you that's my uh, personally favorite, and it's skewness. Uh, the skewness, so in probability theory and in statistics, the skewness is a measure of the asymmetry of the probability distribution. So, what does the skewness mean? Uh, we can take a 12 months history of daily performance and we can plot it into the histogram. So, we can have a distribution of daily performance, and in case the mean, median, and the mode are nearly the same uh, and the right side of distribution mirrors the left side distribution we have a symmetrical distribution uh, we can have a mean which is on the right side from the mode which is the most common uh, performance so it means that the average performance our, our average daily performance uh, is significantly higher than uh, our most common daily performance in this case uh, we have a positively skewed distribution so it means that uh, our asset has um, a lot of small losses and few extreme positive outcomes. This it can be a case, or mm, these are the assets that are very uh, favorite, or they are very popular by retail traders. Uh, usually, those are the assets. Those are the assets like uh, small tech companies, uh, cryptocurrencies, biotech companies, etc. Those assets are sometimes called the lottery assets. So it means you are paying a small amount of money, and you expect that you can win a lot. Positively skewed assets, they are usually extremely overpriced. On the other hand, we have the negatively skewed asset. On a negatively skewed asset, we have a mean that is significantly smaller than the mode, which is the most common performance of the asset, or the mode is uh, significantly, significantly higher. In this case, uh, we have a high probability of a small gain, but there are negative outcomes. Uh, these assets are usually underpriced compared to positively skewed assets. We can take a portfolio of multiple assets, uh, and we can use a, a skewness a measure to sort those portfolio into those assets that are overpriced and those assets that are underpriced and we can go along the underpriced assets and short the overpriced assets. Skewness effect is present in a lot of asset classes, so uh, I will show you so you can find the skewness effect in, uh, in Quantpedia. Uh, there are a lot of strategies that are working and are using this uh, skewness effect. Sometimes uh, they are called skewness strategies, sometimes uh, they are called uh, lottery strategies. Uh, that are, uh, so that, those are the strategies that are using uh, this effect. I will show you the skewness effect in commodities. So in commodities, you know, we can uh, take the investment in reverse. Uh, once again, we can take the, the global diversified uh, 27 futures contract in commodities. And each month we can calculate the skewness from the daily returns from the data going 12 months uh, into the future and then you can sort the commodities into the quintiles you can go along the quintile that contains the commodities uh, with the lowest total skewness so the most negatively skewed and we can short the quintile containing the commodities with the highest total skewness or the commodities which are the most positively skewed and we can rebalance the portfolio so in this way uh, we are using the skewness as a predictor or as a price predictor and we are trying to pick the commodities uh, and we are shorting commodities with a lottery-like um, with a lottery-like behavior and we are buying the co commodities that are on the other hand that do not have the lottery-like behavior. Uh, now what is the performance of the strategy? We can see that the strategy is uh, highly profitable. Uh, what is even better is that the strategy is performing exactly during the days when there is a stress in the market. So it means in 2008, 2020 during the COVID crisis, or in 2022 during the current um, inflation crisis. So that's that's usually the case with the skewness strategies. So the skewness strategies, uh, the highly positively skewed assets, usually lost a lot of money during the crisis, and because we are short these highly positively skewed assets. Uh, you can use this strategy as a The skewness effect is present not only in commodities, but is present in, uh, in a lot of the other assets. Uh, so we have an article about multi-asset skewness trading strategy, uh, where we are showing that there is a skewness that is present in uh, currencies, in equities, in fixed income, and you can combine all of these assets, uh, so bonds, equities, currencies, and commodities, into a globally diversified uh, portfolio, 
uh, based on this effect, uh, you can have a nice strategy uh, built on this effect. This strategy uh, is present not only in futures, but of course also across the ETFs. So the lottery effect, the skillness effect is pre present also in ETFs. So we can use ETFs, we can trade this effect uh, in country ETFs, in commodities, uh, in global sectors, in US sectors, uh, in micro caps. Inter more interesting is that uh, the skillness effect present also in the cryptocurrencies. So what does it mean? Uh, we can take an investment universe that consists of uh, 45 cryptocurrencies. Uh, we selected data from January 2018 until March 2022. We calculate the schemas during the past one month or not the past uh, one year. I will show you the result for the one, uh, one year. So uh, in a yearly model, we can short the investment universe of the cryptocurrency based on the skewness measure. And we can go along uh, the cryptocurrencies that are the mostly negatively skewed and we can show the currencies with the highest positive skew. Uh, our performance is a positive in each case and the strategy also is also profitable. And what is the best is that it's not correlated a lot to all cryptocurrency market. So uh, thank you for your attention. I hope that I showed you something that is interesting and I hope that you will uh, continue pursuing and researching the skewness effect uh, in all of the other asset classes and uh, have a nice day. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more, or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.